Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video. Like, as always, I hope you find slightly amusing and fun, but at the same time, educational and informative. And today, we got a bit of a prehistoric oddity with a weird and unique creature by the name of Moss Chops, which name is actually translates into calf face. I'm sure whoever named it at the time had a perfectly good reason for that, and I've chosen to include this image to start off with. Which is, I believe they might have, these moss chops might have actually been drawn with a graphic pad. But we shall talk about this animal in more detail on slide 2. And I'll see you later. There we go, it's a delightful little image of moss chops. Where you can see its short, stocky body. And you can even see like feather-like, well not feather-like, but hair-like projections coming out of the skull. Which are quite a useful little addition on this little image. But moss chops, along with numerous other species of synapsid or mammal-like reptiles, lived during the Permian period, with moss chops living during the Permian period around 265 to 260 million years ago. The remains of moss chops were found within the Karoo region of South Africa, indicating that moss chops made prehistoric South Africa its home. Moss chops uh, was a very, very, very well built synapsid. It was only actually 3 metres long, 9 or 12 foot, so it weren't a massive animal. But Adam, what it, I can tell you, it had a really, really large, very, very thick head. And it's also estimated that moss chops could have reached up to one ton in weight, making it a very heavy animal for its size and light scale. Moss chops was also a herbivore and would have fed and browsed upon plant material and vegetation that it could have found within the desolate Permian landscape. Here we got a delightful little skeleton or graphic representation of moss chops, which like, shows you the size, so it gives you a decent scale of the animal. Well, the first actual material and remains of moss chops was actually found by Robert Bloom within the Karoo region of South Africa. The find was sent to the American Museum of Natural History in New York, with it being described in 1911 as moss chops, or car face, as we've already talked about. Hello ladies and gents, we've got a lovely little black and white image for you for this one, where you can quite clearly see where the eyes are located due to the large orbit-like, bone-like circle in the skull. And you can see the short little stout teeth. Oh, pardon me, I just belched, but moving on. It's believed that due to the alignment and angle of the jaw muscles, that moss chops jaws were very heavy, allowing it to use really, really excessive force when chewing. So practically it had extremely strong jaw muscles. Due to the jaw muscles and stout teeth of this animal, it's actually believed that moss chops was a herbivore that fed upon tough vegetation with a relatively low nutrient content. So in a way, you can accuse moss chops of being the prehistoric Permian pe equivalent of a cow, more or less, because cows chew and chew and chew, and they break up the cellulose in grass with their rudimentary digestive system, but they have to eat so much to actually get any decent nutrition out of it, that's why cows literally eat all day. Due to the poor nutritional content of this vegetation, moss chops would have actually had to feed for long durations of time, much similar to a cow, and due to moss chops having very large and robust uh, head with the upper bone in the skull actually being roughly 10 centimetres thick which makes it very heavy. It's actually believed that this moss chops animal would have actually competed with other moss chops much like male st stags. For example they moss chops would have used its skull and clashed it against other male moss chops possibly for breeding rights during the male, the male season. The mating season that would be a bit weird. Here we have some very cheeky, chunky facts here, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd say that because I love this image of moss chops that's been shown in the background. It's, I don't know quite know what to make of it. I'll put the link to the reference uh, in the description of my video, but it sort of looks like a giant turd with legs. But it's still much better than what I could do with a like, graphic pad or any form of art. So you have to give it still a fair amount of credit. Because I'm a useless art, I can admit that now. But moving on. Moss Chops actually featured in a short-lived, well short-lived, short-lived television show for children in the 1980s where it lived in a cave with an Allosaurus antiplodocus and due to the scientific inaccuracies of it sharing a cave with a Allosaurus antiplodocus it's maybe a good fucking reason that show was short-lived. Moving on though, Moss Chops was one of the largest animals during the Permian period only matched by possibly Antiosaurus and Juncaria. And Moss Chops would have competed against rival ma mammals and animals of its same species by butting its head in a similar fashion to stags. Also moving on to a different animal that actually has the word stag in it. 
uh, males stag beetles compete against each other but not by actually using their heads they just use their long like mandibles that extend from them there's one creature over in the UK I'd actually love to see a male stag beetle because I've yet to see one here we've got quite an interesting image actually it looks like a a very very old image this might have been painted or drawn up in the 1970s 80s or maybe even predate that but moss chops was when fully grown would have been extremely slow moving but had relatively no fear of any predators or predation in general it was actually one of the largest animals of the permian period which gives it a huge tactical advantage over other animals size does matter ladies and gentlemen winky face but with animals, once they actually reach a certain size, so it really is nothing that is going to bring them down apart from injury or illness. And also moving on, moss chops might have actually, it's actually believed by scientists that moss chops might have actually been semi aquatic, which would have been relatively useful diving and finding food. Finish off with this delightful little image, ladies and gentlemen. Moss chops is certainly a very unusual, and if, I do use one of my favourite words, a very derpy looking synapsid, if you ask my humble opinion. But it's actually one of the more famous creatures of the Permian period. Other famous animals if you, during the Permian, if you asked my opinion also on this, I would have to say Dimetrodon, Gorgonopsid, Lytrosaurus and Scutosaurus, but most shops should definitely be included amongst these famous animals. As always though, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found the video fun to watch and informative. Feel free to comment up your feedback and like the video, or I hope you like the video, but dislike it if you thought it was a load of turd. And at the same time, join the Raptor Pack today by subscribing, and I'll see you all again next time.